Hey everyone, how you doing this morning? Happy Sunday. Uh, just for those of you who don't know, I'm Kim with Kim Dell Art, and I am an artist located in Oldsmar, Florida, and I create uh, acrylic paintings on canvas and in a variety of styles and techniques, as well as help people experience the joy of painting through uh, virtual paint parties as well as do-it-yourself art kits. And speaking of art kits, that's what I'm working on right now, actually. I am working on creating my next art kit. So I'm actually in the process of doing some practice sessions. So let me show you real quick. So I'm, I'm in the process of making my next step, but let me show you real quick. So. What I'm creating right now is this little tiki. It's so cute, right? So what I usually try and do is I like to try and practice on paper first. Um, just kind of get a layout, see the colors that I used, whether I like them or not, the layouts that I like, whether or not I like them or not, I'm live, just so you know. Um, things like that. So I kind of figure it out here, see if I like it or not, what I want to do, what I need to make better, things like that. So then, once I get through that one, I then go to a canvas board and um, start practicing there, kind of true to size and working on the things that I did like versus the things I didn't like and things like that. So that's what I'm doing this morning, um, working on this. So I just wanted to come on real quick and kind of tell you what was going on and give you an idea of what's happening. So as you come on, please, by all means, say hi in the comments and let me know where you are watching from. I would love to know where you're watching from. As I said earlier, I am in Oldsmar and I'm just getting a little bit of sky on my background real quick. Um, but yeah, I'm in, located in Oldsmar, Florida and it is hot today very 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 hot <laughs> so I don't know where you are but it is quite warm so there I got my sky going so now I'm going to take some blue um, but yeah I wanted to let you know too that uh, I do have two art kits that are already ready to go and so you may be asking well what exactly is an art kit I'm going to take my one inch brush and I'm going to make a horizon line right here. Um, so an art kit is a way for you to um, learn a painting or take you do a painting in the comfort of your own home. So basically what it does is it gives you everything that you need. I just want to go along this horizon line and make it as straight as possible. Um, but it gives you everything you need to create a painting. So for example, for this kit that I'm doing right now, you would be able to create this painting and I would give you, um, you would get the, an actual 11 by 14 canvas. Now this is a canvas board, so that's a little different, but this is what I practice on um, and I create some classes on and stuff like that. But you would get an actual 11 by 14 canvas that is prepped and ready to go you would get all your paints, all your brushes that you would need, right? You'd get, um, you would get a supply list if you wanted to uh, ever want to make it again. And then you would also get in step by step instructions on um, how to actually do it. But also as a bonus, I'm going to send you a link to a video of me actually creating the, the, uh, it's hard to talk and do that at the same time um, of the actual painting of me actually creating it step by step so you can literally go through it step by step and watch how it's created you know while I'm um, while I'm doing it which is kind of cool right I'm gonna put this brush in water I'm gonna take a little bit of teal oops got some dry stuff I'm going to take a little bit of teal next on here in my water. And it's probably going to need a little bit more than that. And actually, I'm going to need a little bit more blue, too. So, But um, 
So yeah, you would get everything that you needed. You would get step-by-step uh, -step instructions and you would get a video that would help you uh, go through the whole training. I'm going to take a little bit of this teal now, kind of blend it into this blue. And uh, you would learn the, the painting. And by the time you are done, you would then have uh, a fun painting that you created yourself. So that's kind of cool, right? Um, and the nice thing too is I'm going to do most of this freehand, but that doesn't mean that you have to. One of the things that will also come as an option for the class is a tracer. So what's a tracer? So a tracer is, um, basically it's a piece of paper that you put, um, some carbon paper under. And then you put your uh, tracer design on top and um, this is harder to do and talk at the same time than you would think it is. Anyway, uh, you put your tracer down, you literally trace it on top of the carbon paper which is on top of your painting and then um, you then lift up and you have a design that's all lined out for you. So if you're somebody who is maybe new to freehanding or you don't want to freehand the design, once your background is done, you can actually put the tracer on once the paint's dry and um, you can trace it on and then you just follow the directions as usual. Uh, all the way until so you can do all the details and all the fill-ins and all the color and all that stuff so uh, you don't have to know how to paint you don't have to be um, experienced at uh, free styling free handing if you don't want to be it's not the end of the world and it's something that you can easily do with the tracer and still come out with a beautiful result. Now, this was all freehanded, right? But where your tracer would come in is your tracer would make the outlines for the tiki. It would give you the placement for your um, palm tree. It would give you like the little triangle things. It would give you the tracer for the um, the sign and your signpost, right? Your surfboard, even your little margarita glass, right? It would give you a lot of this so you'd have an outline, right? And then all you'd have to do is as I'm coloring in the, the tiki top, the front of it, doing the actual um, palm tree, doing the leaves, you just fill it in like I do. You just have a line, an outline that you, use, that you can use as a guide to, to do it. So it's really, really nice to be able to have that um, because it just gives you that extra option of not having to feel like you have to be comfortable with freehanding um, because if you're not, that's okay. You don't you don't have to be comfortable doing that if you don't want to be, you know. So that's always uh, a nice thing too. So if you haven't seen my other kits that I've got available as well, let me show you those real quick. I just want to get this on here before it dries too much. Um, let me get a little bit more blue up here. Um, and then a little bit more white down here. There we go. So now we have our ocean. Oops, helps if I can put it in front of the camera, right? So now I have my sky and my ocean. So that worked out pretty well. And I think the one thing that, I think the one thing we have a tendency to do when we start to try to paint is we expect everything to be perfect like the person that is painting that we're watching the tutorial on. And I've had to even teach myself that you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be exactly like them. Um, your style isn't going to be exactly the same as somebody else's and that's okay. Um, the important part of doing painting 
is that one, it's so therapeutic. I can't even tell you how many times that I have just enjoyed coming into my studio, putting on some music, kind of just, you know, letting the day kind of go on its merry way and worry about stuff tomorrow and just get in here and start creating. I mean, when I was doing this part here, the palm tree, uh, it's so therapeutic making all of those bristles. You know, you kind of have to focus a little bit. And, or I should say the, the leaves, bristles. No, making all the bristles. Making all the leaves, right? So when you're doing that, it's really therapeutic. It's, it's, and it's so much fun. And when you take the need to be perfect out of it, um, it makes things a lot easier for on yourself. You know, you, you're allowed to let your style come out. The great thing about acrylic paints is that they dry fast. So if you mess something up, who cares? You can start over and do it again, you know. But my two other art kits are this one here. It's called Moonlit Night. Here, I'll take it off the wall. This is called Moonlit Night. Now this does not have a tracer, it's completely freehand, but it's very, very simple. I mean, it's literally just a couple of, it's literally like four or five colors. There's no more than that. You know, you've got the sky, you've got the ocean, you have this moon, which I provide a stencil for, or you could use a cover for something. I mean, literally what I used to make this one was this. <laughs> That's all I used to make it, you know? And then you fill it in, and then um, you add some clouds, you add some stars, which is made with, anyone, anyone, anyone can guess? Toothbrush. <laughs> you actually make your stars with a toothbrush. And then um, you do your mounds and then your palm trees. And I, I thought, looking at these palm trees, I thought they were gonna be so hard. They're so easy. It was a lot of fun. This one, I love very much. So that's Moonlit Night. So that comes as an art kit if you want one. Let's see if I can get this back straight. Nope. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, come on, you can do it. Okay, good enough. And then this one is one I did recently. This was a ball to do. This is called Girl's Trip for obvious reasons. And now this one I did also on a board. It's mostly for practice and it was for a class that I, or the online uh, tutorial that I created because at the time I didn't have a canvas. But this is called Girls Trip. This did come in fact with a tracer. Hold on, I'll show you the tracer. It's right here. Okay. All right. So what happens is when you get your canvas, this is what um, it comes with. Now because this you don't want it, you wouldn't do the background first and then put them over it, whereas the one I'm working on you would. This will come, your, tr your canvas will come pre-traced for you. So when you get your canvas, it would actually look like this, okay? And then you follow along the video. So same thing, you'd get the canvas, you get your paints, you get your brushes, right? And then you'd get the instructions and everything, but you'd also get a video tutorial that will take you step by step on how to complete all of this. And think of it this way, because people say, well, that's just like a paint by number, and it's not. Because a paint by number, you have a very specific dot that you have to fill in with a very specific color you are allowed to make decisions as far as how you want things to look. You can blend things more or less than what I do. You can make the colors what they are. If you have paints at home, say you're a crafter, you love painting, and you have your own paints, when I make the hats brown, you could make them different colors. When I make this bathing suit red and this bathing suit purple and this bathing suit yellow, you can do different colors, okay? So you still have an artistic choice okay so but when you are done it turns into that okay and 
you and if you can see there is shading on this right there's highlights put on this okay the hats alone have start with a darker color and then we add some white for some shading we add highlights we add our, um, white for highlights and we add a little bit of navy blue for some shades and shadow to give the picture depth okay this is not just a paint by number and you know fill it and leave it kind of thing this you have still artistic license so it and I promise you this is a lot of fun and if you're somebody who's super creative you could put clouds in here right you could put maybe some seashells or a starfish down here you know or a little sand castle even um, you could have them watching fireworks say it's 4th of July on the beach or something right so you have a lot of things that you could add to this if you're a creative or you could just follow the video and fill it in just like this so this one was a lot of fun and this is called girls trip so both of them come with like I said everything that you need it has the canvas the paints the brushes everything you need and then this one as well is tiki so I'm gonna offer you something special today so if you are someone who maybe has your own supplies you have your own brushes or you don't mind going shopping I am going to give you the free tracer the supply list and the step-by-step -step instructions for this painting if you like it okay and then you can go and paint this I'm gonna give it to you for free I'll give you the free tracer um, and the instructions and the supply list if you would like that um, put Tiki in the comments okay put Tiki in the comments and I will uh, send you I'll get in contact with you and send you the free tracer supply list and step-by-step -step instructions and you can make that yourself as well um, but if you'd like to get the art kit when it's ready just put Tiki art kit in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you um, with that and then um, if you'd like either of the other um, art kits you have moonlit night so you can put moonlit night kit um, in the comments or girls trip kit in the comments put either of those in the comments and uh, I will make sure to contact you and I will get you the information the link and everything that you want I bet you probably want to know how much it is probably right that probably would help probably so the art kits like I said including everything your canvas your paints your brushes instructions and a video um, is $36 and that includes your shipping you don't have to worry about shipping okay so think about that and think about if you're somebody who you know wants to learn to paint would like to you know maybe you're a very beginner um, you've never done really any kind of painting before you don't know really where to start this is a great way to start um, you like I said you can do it freehand if you want the, the tutorial will be shot will be um, taught freehand but I will let you know when you can go ahead and start working on um, the when you would start doing adding the tracer and then I would just explain I'll explain during the video um, how you go about doing the tracer okay so I'm just letting this paint dry a little bit because it's still wet and I need to put my palm tree on and I don't want to put my palm tree on when my blue paint is wet because I don't want a blue palm tree but what I'm gonna do is I'm adding kind of this dark chocolate kind of um, paint onto my brush and I'm going to what I'm gonna do once this dries a little bit if I don't make a mess I've already got paint on my hands but basically I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna create a line that kinda of goes like this and that is gonna be the tree trunk that I have for my uh, palm tree so it's still a bit wet so actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm not real patient I'm gonna get a hairdryer so let me get a hairdryer real quick hairdryer and you gotta be careful with the hairdryer because it blows everything around <laughs> everything goes flying so you have to hold on to your towel hold on to everything it goes a little 
crazy. And be careful when you're blow drying or using a heat gun on your canvas because uh, you don't want it to stay in one place too long because then um, you uh, risk the chance of burning stuff. Okay. All right. I think that's good. All right. I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to show you how I do my little palm tree here. So I'm going to grab some brown paint on, this is like a one inch flat brush. And I'm going to, let's see, I want it to this way, right? Yes. I had to look, I had to look at my sample. I'm like, how did I do that before? Oh yeah. So I'm kind of like practicing it above to kind of get it, the movement as to where I want it to go. And then I'm going to start here and I'm going to just bring it up just like that. And do you see why I don't want I don't want my blue my blue paint to be wet because I don't want my my tree to be wet. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some palm leaves. Actually, I think the first thing I do, I think I did the little squiggly thing first, and then did that, and then did the palm trees. I think I believe that's how I did it. So anyway, I'm going to keep practicing what I'm doing here, um, figuring out this painting before I actually do the tutorial and put it on some canvas. But like I said, if you would be interested in getting a free tracer for this so you can make this painting yourself at home, I'm going to give you the tracer for free, okay? It will give you the tracer, the supply list, and the step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this piece. If you want that, put Tiki um, Tracer. <laughs> put Tiki Tracer into the comments and I will send you the free tracer with the supply list and that way you can go and make that and enjoy it yourself. Or if you're interested in getting the art kit when it's ready, put Tiki Art Kit in the comments and I will be happy to um, get that for you as well. And I'm going to go ahead, since I'm on, what the heck, I'm just going to, this is practice anyway, I'm just going to go for it and see what I can come up with. So I'm going to do my little, uh, little squiggly here, na, 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 up like that. And then I'm going to start, actually, you know what, I think the last time I did this, I did it with a big brush and with just one inch, which is kind of big, and I didn't really like the way it came out. So I'm going to switch to a slightly smaller brush. And I'm going to go to get some more brown on here real quick. Okay, so let's try this. Just to try something a little different. Because the one inch brush was just a tad bit big. Alright, so I'm going to... And you're not going to be able to see this, but I'll show you. Um, I'm going to go... So I have to go down like that. And then over and kind of make a triangle. So yeah, so I'm kind of going like that. So I'm kind of, I guess, let me see if I can do it. It's not the best setup I know, but um, so I'm going to do this uh, like this, come down and then bring this over kind of like that. And bring this over like that. So see how I'm kind of making these little triangle things? And then every couple I'll go a little bit bigger. I don't want to go too big too soon because if you do, um, you'll have this monsterly fat tree at the bottom and that won't look really all that great. You know what I mean? So just do like that. And like I said, if you're not comfortable um, doing this freehand, you don't have to. I have a tracer that you can use um, that will allow you to do this. It'll be all traced out. You just fill it in, which is nice sometimes when you're just learning. And I'm, I'll be honest, this one is going a little wonky because I'm doing it this way instead of laying it flat which is what I normally do, but that's okay. 
bring that down like that. Um, like I said, it's not about being perfect. I mean, remember too, this is not a, a photo realistic representation of a palm tree, right? This is a whimsical painting of a palm tree. So it's not meant to be perfect. So don't beat yourself up if when you're doing it, especially if you're doing it for the first time, it doesn't come out the way that you expected. It's okay, you know? And like I said, anything that you don't particularly care for, you can uh, always paint over and try it again, you know? Everything is basically fixable. So, I mean, And it is hard to talk and paint at the same time. I am discovering. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this down because now we're at the point where you probably can see it. And it's getting a little wonky on me. So I'll just, this would be a little easier for me if I can do it this way. So. Yeah, I know sometimes that's something I've done to myself in the past too is you kind of expect yourself to be perfect or you compare yourself to others that are a little bit more ahead of you and when you do that you don't give yourself the chance to grow because you you give up too easily and you say well obviously I'm just not meant to uh, to do this because if I were I would be better than what I am and that's definitely not the case yeah, see, I need to do that over here a little bit more. Um, yeah, you gotta you gotta give yourself a chance to. You have to. The thing what people aren't willing to understand, and I didn't understand it for the longest time either, is you have to be willing to be bad in order to be good. You know, and if you expect a perfect painting every single time you do this you're going to be disappointed a lot because of the fact that it's just, that's just not the way it works, you know? I'm just going to uh, bring that over like that, actually. See, I'm already got to fix it, so. And then bring it down. I'll just fill that in. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that part very well, but that's okay. That's why it's practice, <laughs> right? So, anyway, that was a, that's a down and dirty, quick version of a quick little palm tree. So, there you go. Ta-da! So then, what I gotta do now is make my palm fronds and I think I might have even made this a little I think I might have made this a little high for this painting I probably should have stopped it like here <laughs> this is gonna be a really big palm tree <laughs> but that's okay what the heck right so then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start here and kind of go like that and then we're gonna like that, and then like that, like that. So this will give me what it is I'm going to be working on and adding leaves to. Oops, that one's a little big. That's okay. <laughs> Like I said, it's a little hard doing it in this position, but I want to kind of, I want you to be able to see what it is I'm doing, you know? Maybe I'll do one right, right here. Just like that. There. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that's kind of my thing. So, one last time. Um, 
let me know if you would like a free stencil of the tiki. I'll give you the free stencil and you'll get a supply list and instructions on how to do this. And um, just put tiki tracer in the comments and I will give you that. Uh, or if you'd like to learn about the kit once it's ready, I put tiki kit in the comments and I will make sure to reach out to you for that as well as <coughs> excuse me as well as moonlit night if you're interested in moonlit night put moonlit night kit in the comments and um, girls trip put girls trip uh, kit in the comments if you're interested in any of those kits like I said they're $36 for an 11 by 14 canvas and that includes your shipping so there's no additional shipping charge on that um, these are a lot of fun. They're great therapy and um, and they're also great for like get-togethers. So like for instance, girls trip. Maybe you could do a Sunday brunch, right? You know, who likes Sunday brunch? I like Sunday brunch, right? Get a mimosa, get some fun music, stream your video and everybody has their kit and they all paint together, right? Or it could be a family night. You know, you could do moonlit night as a date night, right? You could paint it together, um, each with your own kit, or paint one kit together and each of you do part of it, you know? Whew, it is warm in Florida. And that's with the AC on, how about that? <laughs> so, so yeah, it's fun. Painting is fun, painting is therapy. It's a lot, a lot of fun. I'm gonna go and continue working on my painting and finish this up. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and uh, I'll gonna get back to it. One day I'm going to do one live. I'll do the whole thing from beginning to end. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Um, and if that's the case, I'll make sure I have a much better setup so that you can see the whole painting from beginning to end. So if that's something you'd be interested in live, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you're watching this um, in the replay if you are, put hashtag replay. I would love to know how many people are watching the replay. So I hope you have a wonderful Sunday, rest of your Sunday day. And uh, until I had, until next time, yeah. <laughs> I do live really well. How about you? <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep painting. So you keep painting. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time. Bye.